This is the Panasonic CF29 Tough Book. Bought it on eBay. CMOS battery is dead. Couldn't find anything about this model on how to replace it, so here we go. First, let's move the hard drive. And here. And just pull that out. I got my CMOS battery from eBay. Various different prices. Get what you need. Right in here, you can see the battery in the hard drive compartment. And it plugs right in behind the keyboard flex. So I'm going to try to get that out of there with needle nose pliers and try to avoid taking it apart. So let's see how that goes. Battery is already removed from the compartment, and ready to go. All right, I had to go a different route. Gonna take it apart from the back. So starting from this direction was this screw, this screw, that one, that one, that one, right there in the corner, right there, right there, right here, here, there, there, and then there was one right in there. And then obviously you have to take off the four for the cover to get at that. And I had to pry mine a little bit from the side here. It was stuck. So you pry that off. There's a little connector right there. And I'm going to take that off. See what that, see what it looks like. So I want you to gently pull that connector up. Back will come off. It's just the speaker. Now we can kind of get a little bit better of a look at it. See what else I have to take apart. So I was able to grab with these needle nose those wires and pull the connector up and out. Now I'll try removing the battery. A little bit of wiggling. And it came out. And they give you some double-sided tape on the new one. So that's going to go right on top of the foam. Oh, nice. I don't know if you can see it right in there. There's the foam that it was on. And I'll try to plug it back into the connector using the needle nose. So it wasn't that hard, but basically making a little L in the connector and then holding that up and getting that in place. And then I used a screwdriver stuffed into through the hard drive here. And once the connector was in place, on top of it, I was able to push down right there and pop it on. And next I'm gonna peel the double-sided tape and stick it in place. Well, that wasn't too bad. Wire was a little bit longer, kind of folded it up in there. So we power up, should just have to hit F2 for setup. Get to the BIOS screen. Use the arrows. So the date and the time is set. 
press F10. Save configuration changes and exit now, yes. Should start up fine.